I'm Brian Rankins here with Fazio's Frets and Friends, and I hold on my lap just another incredible uh, Thomas Ryan guitar. Uh, so this is his, uh, his RJN5, they call it, and this features a European spruce top, so a little bit of an upgrade from what we've had before. Just, uh, you know, it's really hard to put into words sometimes what these guitars really do, because there's just stuff flying out of these instruments that you don't hear out of a lot of other guitars. So rich and resonant so easy to play. This particular model, like I said, has a Euro top, East Indian back and sides, has a wood called olive wood that, uh, that is the binding. This is a 25.4 scale on this particular guitar, mahogany neck. It uh, has inch and three quarter nut and uh, two and a quarter inch spacing. So for the finger style guys, it's just about the perfect thing that you can have. And uh, the thing that amazes me, you know, Tom just got back from, from Healdsburg, and there's so many guys who are buying guitars that are just, they're beautiful works of art with all kinds of uh, different shell inlay and gorgeous scenes on them and, and extremely decorative. But they're really lacking in what is one of the most important things about a guitar, and that is the, the beauty of the sound that comes out of the sound hole, uh, the, the feeling that you get when you play in just an incredible guitar. Tom designs his guitars to be very elegant looking. Uh, they, are, they are not an ornate guitar. It's not what they're about. They're about the guys, or they're for the guys who are looking about, uh, are looking for the most incredible tone that they can possibly get out of an instrument. An instrument that nothing hides inside the guitar. Everything just jumps out. Uh, extremely rich, extremely resonant. And as you can hear when I do some of the single note stuff, you still hear all those notes just ringing individually. Things don't cancel themselves out inside the guitar. And that's what I love about Tom's instruments. The fact that uh, they don't have a bunch of inlay doesn't bother me at all. I'd prefer not to have any inlay on a guitar, especially if I can save a little money and, uh, and uh, get my, uh, my reward in how the guitar sounds and how the guitar plays. You know, if you're in our neck of the woods, why don't you swing by and check out one of the most incredible guitars you'll ever play in your life. And uh, if you're not, check us out on the web at fazio'smusic.com.